Ready? Smile. Okay, so we're going to discuss the parts of the neuron, and we have a couple of samples here. All right? So let's do the general parts. This is the cell body. Cell body. Okay. Sticking off the cell body are the dendrites. They receive signals from other neurons. Then we have the axon. Okay. And then the axon is chopped off here. And then coming off of this end would be the telodendria, right? The little branches that come off of the end would be the telodendria. They're placed here on the model. So this is a telodendrion, multiple telodendria. The swelling at the end is the synaptic terminal or axon terminal. And here we have one that's cut open, showing you that inside an axon terminal, there are the little yellow dots, those are vesicles, and they also have a little red mitochondria in there. Because the purpose of the axon terminal is to release the neurotransmitter, to send the signal from the presynaptic neuron to the postsynaptic neuron. All right. So those are the basic components. Now let's go into some of the details. So this is the nucleus, and if you look inside the crystal ball, you will see your life. No, you will see <laughs> the, the, nuclei, the nucleolus. There's two nucleoli in there. Um, same with this. If you look inside the crystal ball, you'll see the two purple nucleoli. Not too many other organelles on this one, okay? So we'll use this one instead. This big red mass is the Golgi apparatus. These smaller red organelles, someone said they look like, what is that, Ike and Mike? Mike and Ike candies? Um, these are the mitochondria. The yellow vesicles we'll call lysosomes. We have blue and blue. This is blue without sprinkles. This is blue <laughs> with sprinkles. Right? It's all about candy and ice cream, right? This is little red sprinkles. The little red sprinkles are the ribosomes. So this is rough ER, smooth ER, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum in the neuron is called the nissel body. So this is called the nissel bodies. Okay, we don't use the term rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so those are the organelles that you can see. All right, let's put that off to the side. On this one, you can see um, little black lines here. You can see little brown lines on this one. Uh, those are the neurofilaments. Those are proteins within the, the neuron. Okay. Some of the proteins that are in the neuron, you kind of see them around the cell body, and you kind of see them going into the axon. Uh, some of the proteins that are in the neuron act in the process of axoplasmic transport, meaning the neurotransmitters that are in the axon terminals, all the way at the end of the axon, are made here and then have to be transported down to the end. Okay. Here's the nucleus on this model. Here's the cell body. These are the, the dendrites. And these little orange gumdrops, staying in the, the theme, gumdrops, those are um, the axon terminals. Those are the swellings. These do not have telodendria attached. These have telodendria. These do not. Here's the axon. Okay. So then a couple things about the axon. Where the axon meets the cell body, that's called the axon hyalic or hillock. Mm -hmm. Axon hillock. The first part of the axon is called the initial segment. And notice that it's naked, so to speak, meaning there's no cell surrounding it. There's no cell. Here there's a cell. Here there's not. That's the initial segment of the axon. 
And then we continue down. This is the axon. You can see that there's a, a little gray covering. The axon here is an orange-brown color, and there's some mitochondria in there. The covering of the axon in gray is called the axolemma. And here we have the axon in brown, and here this light gray is the axolemma. Now on this particular model, this is a myelinated axon, so there are these additional cells living on the axon. These are known as neuroglial cells, specifically known as Schwann cells, okay? Or, or um, neurolemocytes is another name for it, Schwann cell or neurolemocyte. The purpose of the Schwann cell, it's a living cell, this is one, two and a half. Here's its nucleus in pink. Here's its nucleus. Here's its nucleus. Nucleus one and two Schwann cells is to produce a substance called myelin. Okay, myelin is a, a fatty protein, a lipoprotein, and all these little grooves represent the layers of myelin or what we call the myelin sheath. It's produced in layers and it wraps around and around and around and it basically covers and protects the axon, the myelin sheath. Here in gray is the myelin sheath, the myelin produced by the Schwann cell. Where two Schwann cells meet, this is called the node or the node of Ranvier or simply just node. That's where the two cells meet. As we work our way down, okay, we can see the outside of the Schwann cell. The outer covering or layer of the myelin sheath is referred to as the neural lemma. Neural lemma. There's a node. And then we have our last component, this gray, dense, irregular connective tissue that covers the Schwann cell and the neuron. So every single neuron and its Schwann cells is wrapped in this dense irregular connective tissue called uh, the endonorium, endonorium. It's like the endomycium that we saw on the muscle cell. Okay. This is a green board and this is a brown board. <laughs> <laughs>